Hi, my name is Brian Hedstrom, Technical Editor in the Metro Ethernet Forum. Today I'm going to talk about Service OAM Fault Management. This is defined in the MEF 30 specification in IEEE 802.1 AG and is referred to as Connectivity Fault Management. There are three functions defined under this, Continuity Check, Loop Back, and Link Trace. First I'd like to talk about Continuity Check. The this is known as CCM. CCM verifies basic service connectivity and health of the EVC. It's known as a heartbeat message. Um, I'm showing a use case here with a service provider and access provider and an ENI connection between the two. Um, a fault, and I have a fault showing at the ENI. Um, CCM transmission is enabled at the at the MEG, and I'm showing uh, a uni MEG here. The MEP at MEP A is sending CCMs at a transmission rate, for example, one second or ten second. When MEP B detects three consecutive CCMs being lost, the fault condition is declared, and the MEP at B sets the RDI bit in its CCM messages and sends those messages in the opposing direction. Next is the loopback message. Loopback is analogous to the ICMP ping, and loopbacks are used for fault isolation and detection and typically not used for uh, performance and SLA verification. Showing the same use case, loopback requests are sent from NID A, um, and the operator configures a number of loopback messages to be sent to a destination, in this case, the uni on the access, access provider side. Um, label as NIDB. Um, when the loopback request is, is received at NIDB, the loopback reply is sent back to the originating uh, NIDA. Finally, the link trace function is used to um, identify and isolate faults in the network. I'm showing a fault condition occurring at the IP MPLS core network. The link trace is analogous to the IP trace route. Um, MIPS in the network must uh, support the LTM request and LTR response. When the MIPS receive the link trace request, they decrement the time to live and forward the message on. In this case, when the fault uh, is encountered, the link trace reply uh, will not go back to the originating MEP, and therefore the, the MEP identifies where the fault condition has occurred. I hope you've enjoyed this video from the Metro Ethernet Forum. My name is Brian Hedstrom from Cable Labs. For more information, please refer to metroethernetforum.org and now on YouTube. Thank you.